All right, guys, I'm back here working on the 2009 Kawasaki KLR650. And here's the problem I had. Um, you can see this bolt is broken. And I tried to drill it out a ways and tried to use an easy out to get it out. And it broke the easy out. So we're going to have to try to drill this bolt out. And what I did do was I bought the um, Eagle Mike um heavy duty subframe kit i saw this on one of the forums when it was talking about when you have these sw moto crash guards that you should upgrade this bolt so i didn't know that the bolt was broken um you know i, I haven't had this bike that long so i took was going to get in here and do a valve adjustment and when I strapped the bike down I was using the crash bars to hold it on the lift and I noticed this crash bar pulled out and so I thought the bolt was just loose went to tighten it back up and it wouldn't tighten up so I pulled the bolt out found that this bolt is snapped off so I tried to get it out snap the easy out so now I'm gonna have to drill it out and work on that so this is what I'm going to do first I'm going to try to use a Dremel and a grinder to see if I can grind out the easy out and then get in there and try to work on removing those that bolt um, so I can put the new bolt kit in and what this is is a so I just dropped it it is a bolt kit that has one bolt that goes all the way through instead of the two bolts that Kawasaki used and so there's some drilling and some tapping that you need to do So let's get to it. I'm going to pause the video here for a while till I try to get out that easy out because I don't want this video to be an hour long But we'll try to work on that and I'll show you the progress and what we're doing All right making a little bit of headway. I used this bit on my Dremel and was able to grind in there pretty good. And then I noticed it looked like a little crack or something in the where I was grinding. And I could feel the bit kind of catching. So I took a punch, put a punch up there and a hammer. And I hammered it. And it knocked out. I'm pretty sure that's some of the uh, bolt and the easy out that broke off. So I think I got past that. So... Now we're going to start with a smaller drill bit, see if we can drill through some of this bolt, and then we'll just keep stepping up drill bits until we can get all of that bolt out of there. So, it's fun stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to tell KLR owners one thing. Replace that bolt before it breaks. Wow. Finally drilled through completely and man I've been at it for hours I didn't really do any updates along the way because I was just too pissed off and just wanted to get it done but after a lot of grinding drilling grinding drilling have some extra drill bits on hand I think it's a 5 16 and a uh 1332 drill bit is what eagle mike sends you if you have a broken bolt have extra drill bits on hand i've gone through quite a few drill bits to get through this um, to get through that broken bolt and to get through the frame where the um, bolt goes through so yeah replace it replace it before it breaks all right, next I'm going to try to see what all I have to do to get this frame to line back up and get it to go back into place. I'm going to take a look at the Eagle Mike instructions also, make sure there's not a step I'm missing before putting this bolt through this frame here. So I will be right back. Okay, well, I was pulling the frame apart earlier. It pulled the boot off. I think it was the front pulled the boot off the front of the carb um, so what Eagle Mike suggests is to take a strap and run it across there so you can 
pull the frame back up into position. And while doing that, get your boots back on right. So I made sure my boots were on. They're on and tight now. So now I'm going to put the bolt through the top here and um, get that ready to uh, well, I got to get the crash bars up in the right position for that as well. So we're going to get all that lined up and put that on next. So yeah, getting somewhere. All right. So make sure you put your spacer on and on my spacer, it fit through the bolt. Okay. Um, his instructions did say some, you might have to, um, uh, drill out the spacer. So we've got the spacer lined up on this side. We've got the crash bar on. So now we're going to just run this the rest of the way through the bolt on, get the front of the um, crash bars bolted back down up here. And we should hopefully be done with this project. All right, I've been working on this project way too long with this drilling this bolt out. So I keep forgetting to turn the camera on, but I ran the bolt through here put the lower bolts in here and we'll go around on this side the nuts on and got the, got the bolt running through and the nut i use blue loctite on this he said i think it said to use red but um, i use blue so now the next thing we're going to do is the subframe bolts um right here we're going to take those out replace them with these bolts, they get uh, red Loctite and torque to 18 foot pounds. All right, so we're done with that part of it. So the next thing I have to do is put my exhaust back up. Um, so we'll just have to put the bolts back in there. Should be easy enough. I'm going to go ahead and put those on. I've got some other things I'm going to do to the bike, so I'm not going to put all the plastics back on right now in this video. So. Thanks for watching this. I, you know, there's a lot of rumors about the whole uh, uh, doohickey and all that stuff with the bikes. And I don't know how true those are, but I will tell you this bolt right here was a pain. Um, I've been working out here for probably five, six hours just to drill that bolt out. And the rest of this stuff I put on in a matter of a half hour. So this is true. This is real. If you have a KLR, replace this bolt. Do it now. Um, it, it's easy to do. And it will save you a lot, a lot of headache. Um, I bought this bike and it was broke when I bought it apparently. So, you know, that may happen. But replace that bolt so i'm going to end this video here i'm going to finish up the last little bit off the camera but thanks for watching this video i hope you like it please like subscribe share these videos just put them out there to help like i said there's a lot of people that are doing videos and probably the same ones that i'm doing but you get a different perspective and you get something that someone else may not have done in their video or said and I'm not a professional, do this for fun. So please like, subscribe, help me out, share it, all that fun stuff, comment, it all helps. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll have another video to come on this 2009 KLR 650. Thanks, ride safe.